guys welcome to my channel and to today's video on my shampoo formulation series so if you are new to my channel and just if this is the first time you are watching my video my name is Eunice and this channel is a natural hair care channel we share more tips on natural hair care product reviews DIY anything about natural hair now if you are a returning subscriber thanks a lot for coming back and stopping back to watch this video I hope my videos are being very useful to you now today's video is going to be a quick one and it is still part of my shampoo formulation series. I have a couple of uh, videos that I have done on the shampoo formulation series. If this is the first time that you are watching um, the video on my shampoo formulation series, you can check out my the description box. I have the playlist for all my videos. It's all on different types of shampoos that you can formulate on your own if you have the ingredients available. So today we are going to be, I'm going to be sharing with you information on how you can formulate a moisturizing shampoo. Now we are done with how to formulate a clarifying shampoo, a conditioning shampoo, and we are on a moisturizing shampoo. Moisturizing shampoos are fairly easy to formulate and their formulation is similar to that of clarifying shampoos, but there are differences. Now. A moisturizing shampoo is supposed to help moisturize your hair so when you're formulating a moisturizing shampoo you need to include more moisturizing agents in the shampoo this is to help pull the moisture and keep the moisture in your hair so you would be needing ingredients like humectants in your moisturizing shampoo aside that when you're formulating a moisturizing shampoo you do not necessarily need to add an anionic surfactant to it anionic surfactants are very very clarifying surfactants and they perform very very deep cleansing and they are usually and used in clarifying shampoos so if you're going to be formulating a moisturizing shampoo it means you do not need to put in an anionic surfactant so that is basically the difference between if you're formulating a clarifying shampoo and you're formulating a moisturizing shampoo so in formulating a moisturizing shampoo there are some key ingredients that um, you need to have available if you want to formulate a good moisturizing shampoo and the first of them all is oils it is good to add oils to your moisturizing shampoos to help with the moisturizing effect. Now oils can be the penetrating oils like olive oil, sunflower oil, any other oil that you have available, coconut oil, you can add them to your moisturizing shampoo. Now the next ingredient that you can also order that you should also add to your moisturizing shampoos are humectants. And humectants, I mean glycerin. Glycerin is a good humectant that pulls in moisture into your hair. And so you need to add glycerin or honey. Honey is also a very, very good moisturizing agent that you can also add to your moisturizing shampoo. All these will help provide a lot of benefits, moisturizing benefits to your hair. Now the next thing that you can add to your moisturizing shampoo is of course cationic agent called the cationic gar. Now in my moisturizing shampoo, I do not leave out this ingredient because aside the fact that um, cationic gar helps to moisturize the hair, it also provides amazing slip for your shampoo. So if you want to formulate a shampoo that has a lot of slip in it, don't forget to add cationic gar because it is a very great um, moisturizing agent and also has great slip. And not forgetting that the cationic gar is also a thickener. So if you want your shampoo to be thick and very, very nice to dispense, then you also need a moisturizing shampoo, a cationic gar in the product. Now, finally, you will also need mild surfactants in formulating your moisturizing shampoo. So these surfactants are very mild and they do not strip your hair. And the two surfactants that I prefer to use in my moisturizing shampoos are the cocoa bean and the cocoa glucoside. You would notice that these are the same surfactants that I used in the clarifying shampoo. However, I added an anionic surfactant to my clarifying shampoo, which, which was castle soap. But in this time around, I'm not going to be adding castle soap because I'm formulating a moisturizing shampoo. So these are essentially the major ingredients that you need to formulate your moisturizing shampoo. 
and so i'm just going to be showing you in a bit the formula for my moisturizing shampoo so now that we have a formula available we are ready to go into formulation and so next week i'll come your way to show you the step-by-step -step way that you can formulate your moisturizing shampoo i hope this video was useful and if it was just give it a thumbs up also do not forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have a question any question at all you can just leave it in the comment section and i'll be very very glad to respond to your questions i will see you sometime next week until then as always do stay blessed Thank you.